Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. The last mod showcase I showed you guys was an aesthetic one and we've kind of been keeping that theme lately so we're gonna keep it going. This is how to change your banner. Now first impressions are everything obviously your customers are gonna be coming to your store and they're gonna want to know whether or not they should come in and the first indicator of that is your banner. As you all have probably learned by now all grand endeavors start at the Nexus. Uh, and the mod we're looking at today is called Store Banner. Very simple, very easy, nothing too complicated. You're gonna go ahead and get this downloaded, extracted, and located just like any other mod that you download. And once you're done with that, you're gonna find yourself uh, in your folder where you saved your mods, but you're also gonna wanna bring up your directory. Uh, so, instructions are on the screen again or how to get to the directory, but you guys should definitely know this by now. Unless this is your first video, then just follow the instructions and that'll get you where you want to go. Once we're here, you already have your Bepinex in your MLL folder. That is the assumption. If not, video in the description to show you how to get them. And uh, we're gonna be hanging out in Bepinex today. So Bepinex and plugins is where we're gonna be. This is where a good majority of your mods are gonna be at. And this is also where your store banner mod is going to go. So once you have downloaded, extracted, and located your store mod, store banner mod, which is here for me, what you're gonna be presented with is the store banner folder, and you're gonna have a store banner DLL. Just copy both of these, drag them directly over into the plugins, and you're gonna be good. So the mod is officially installed, and now comes the creative part. So once you have this installed, if you go ahead and open up the store banner folder, it's gonna be different though. What you're gonna have is, let me blow these up so you can actually see them a little bit better. This is my already existing folder. You can see the my stupid looking banner that I set up here. This was in game. This has already been put in here and that's how you guys saw it. This is what you're gonna see. This is what yours is gonna look like here. It's a kind of generic based setup that whoever made this made. And uh, you can change this completely if you want. You can kind of keep it the same and maybe just kind of edit a few things in here. However you want to do it. They do have a template folder here for GIMP if you want to go in and adjust it in GIMP. I don't use GIMP, so I, I, I didn't use GIMP, but I use PicMonkey, so that's where I'm going to be editing mine. So when you go over to your editing software here as you can see i've already edited this one here let's delete this stuff once you open it up in your editing software this is what you're going to be faced with right here this is what it is you can't do any edits to any of the stuff that's already here or whatever you can basically just overlay on this so what i usually do is i'll grab a graphic uh probably just be a regular shape or something like that oops that's not what i meant to do uh-oh, undo that, <laughs> my bad. Uh, so just grab anything like a square or something like that, anything that can cover the whole thing and just cover it completely up. Uh, at that point, you can go ahead and edit your background and look however you want. So like gradient or something. I don't know what programs you use or how you're gonna go about this, but just do whatever you want here. And once you're done and it's all set up, we're gonna make something new here. Uh, it doesn't matter, okay. That's fine. It's it's great. The masterpiece. This is going to bring in the customers 100%. Uh, so once you're done, you're going to go ahead and download it, save it or whatever it is you have to do. And it's going to save as text banner or it should save its text banner. If whatever you're using, it doesn't save as T-E-X capital B-A-N-N-E-R, then make sure you save it as that and you'll be good. Once it's saved and your masterpiece is finished, you want to go to wherever you saved it, which I save everything in my downloads folder if it's an image, and then you're going to drag your new creation over into the Bepinex plugin and store banner folder. This is where your new creation is right here. Okay, this is the new one. So we need to get rid of the old one, which is the original one we had. And in, in your case, it'll be the original one you had, the blue one. You're gonna go ahead and delete this. And then if this says anything else other than just text banner, you wanna get rid of any additional 
whatever. So there it is. Get rid of the floor. It's just lowercase t e x capital B A N N E R. There you go. And once again, this is located in your directory, Bepinex, plugins, store banner, and this is your new banner. All right. So now that that's done, once we boot up the game, you should be able to see it, no problem. So let's open up our supermarket simulator. All right, we're good. Let's load our save. And there you go. There is your new beautiful banner. Gonna bring in thousands and thousands of new customers because I mean, how could you see something like, like this and not wanna buy literally everything they sell? Simple, very easy, not too complicated. Uh, it should be fine. Uh, if you have any issues, let me know. But I mean, this is about as straightforward as it gets. And as long as you follow the video, even though I know uh, I'm not the most amazing tutorial maker there is, um, it should be should be pretty straightforward. But like I said, any problems or issues, definitely let me know and I'll try to troubleshoot them in the best way that I can. Otherwise, enjoy your new banner. Be crazy, get creative with it and do whatever you want, man. It should be a uh, I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. And with all that, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.